Corrosion on steel is one of those costly problems the industry faces every day. Researches have shown that soluble salts present on the steel surface, will cause corrosion to accelerate, and reduce the lifespans of protective coatings. To achieve the desired coating life, one of the tests the coating inspectors perform is the concentration of the soluble salts on metal surfaces before coating application. A coating specification often calls to ensure the soluble salt limit within the specified level, and further states about the test method that the coating inspector must follow for the test to perform. Various instruments and test methods are available to measure the salt level of a surface that needs to be coated. This video will educate its viewer on the way the soluble salt test is conducted by using the Bresel test patch and the conductivity meter. The Bresel test kit contains, conductivity meter, Bresel test patch, cleaning solution, calibration solution, distilled or deionized water, a syringe with the needle, and plastic beaker. Before you start the test, wear a pair of clean gloves to avoid the contaminations of the surface to be tested, and the instrument to be used. You now have to switch the conductivity meter by merely pressing the on-off button, then soak its electrode for the few minutes using the cleaning agent supplied with the instrument manufacturer. Upon cleaning the electrode surface, thoroughly rinse the electrode using distilled water, then dry it by shaking off the instrument. After that, check the instrument accuracy by putting the calibration solution on the instrument electrode and make sure the value on the instrument screen corresponds with the given value of the solution. You will need to calibrate the conductivity meter according to the manufacturer's instruction in case if it doesn't read the given value of the calibration solution. The next step is to take the Bresel test patch, and remove the protective backing and the foam center from it. Place and press the adhesive side of the patch against your test surface, so that the minimum amount of air will get trapped in the patch compartment. Now, decontaminate the syringe and the bicker with the distilled water, and then take the sufficient amount of deionized water in the bicker for the testing. Check the blank value of the deionized water in the beaker before it is used for the test. For the blank value, read the conductivity meter screen zero, fill the conductivity meter electrode with the deionized water in the beaker, and note down the water's conductivity on the screen as the blank value. You now have to use the syringe to draw 2.5 ml deionized water from the beaker, and insert its needle to the Bresel patch using the spongy foam perimeter at the angle of approx 30 degrees. Inject the syringe's water inside the patch now, and dissolve the salt by quickly tapping the latex membrane for at least one minute. Without removing the needle from the patch, and after the two minutes, suck the water using the syringe, and re-inject it into the patch for at least four times. Once you have done that, try to extract as much solution as you can with your syringe, and remove its needle from the patch. The extracted solution is now injected into the conductivity meter electrode to know the test solution's conductivity as the measured value. Subtract the blank value, noted earlier, from the value measured. The result would be the salt level of the steel surface in micro semen per centimeter. You should refer to the equation supplied by the instrument manufacturer to convert the salt level from micro semen per centimeter to milligram per square meter. For a better understanding of the test to perform, you must always refer to the applicable standards and the instrument manufacturer instructions and guidelines. Also, if you found this video useful, please like and share it, and don't forget to subscribe to IOG's international YouTube channel for more valuable videos. You can also visit the Institute's website to know more about the training and certification courses offered by the Institute for Oil and Gas Sector. IOGS.